In this video, we're going to look at the nth term of a quadratic sequence, and this is version three. Um, there's many different ways to approach this topic. Um, I sort of prefer version one, uh, but depending on which way your teachers taught you or you know you prefer, this is just another way to do it. Okay, so the nth term of a quadratic sequence is in the form a n squared plus b n plus c. And you'll probably recognize this from quadratic graphs, which is an squared plus uh, or ax squared plus bx plus c, it's similar, but it just ends. Now, um, in the typical question for the nth term of a quadratic sequence, you've got to find the values of a, b, and c. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to substitute in 1 for the first term into the nth term. So you get 1 squared, which is 1, times a, which is a, b times 1, which is b, and plus c. So the first term would be a plus b plus c. The second term, well, if you substitute 2 in, you're going to get 2 squared, which is 4, times a, which is 4a, uh, 2 times b, which is 2b, plus c, which is 4a, plus 2b, plus c, and so on. Okay? Now, um, whenever you have a quadratic sequence, um, often what you want to do is see what is going up in each time. We'll work out the, the first inferences. So if we look at that, it goes up by 3a plus b for the first one. And it won't be the same every single time. The next one is going to be 5a plus b. And the next one is going to be 7a plus b. So that would be the first inferences of a, of a quadratic sequence, and they will depend on these different values here on the nth term. Now, the second inferences on a quadratic sequence will always be the same. In this case, it's going to, well, in every case, it's going to be 2a. Okay. Now, you, in this approach, this bit here is the key. Okay. This is the only bit you really need to remember. Okay. That the second inference is always equal to 2a. So that means you half it, you're going to get a. And then what you do is you compare the sequence a n squared to the sequence that you've been given in the question and then see what the rest of the b n plus c would be. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at a typical question and see how to do it. So here we've got the sequence 6, 9, 14, 21, 30. The first bit says find the next term. So it goes up by 3 and goes up by 5, goes up by 7 and goes up by 9. So as I've said, in a quadratic sequence, it won't go up by the same number each time. So the next one's going to go up by 11, so it's going to be 41. <coughs> the next bit says work out the nth term. Now to get the nth term, what we're going to do is we're going to see what the second differences are. Now as you can see, it's 2, 2, 2, 2. So that's going to be equal to 2a. So that means that a is equal to 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the sequence. Now we want the nth term, which is going to be in the format a n squared plus b n plus c. What we're going to do is we're going to compare the sequence with um, n squared to that, because you know a is equal to 1, so we know our nth term is going to be n squared plus b n plus c. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the sequence n squared to this sequence we'll be given in the question, and then that will tell us what the rest of it will be. Okay, so the n squared sequence, well, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared, 4, 9, 16. Now, as you notice here, um, every single time, the sequence is just 5 bigger. So that means it's just going to be n squared plus 5. So that means our nth term in our question is n squared plus 5. Okay, this one was quite simple because the sequence we've been given in the question is just five more than that n squared bit or that n squared uh, sequence. Okay, um, if it if it wasn't as simple as that, what you would do is you would see the difference and then work out the nth term for it. Next, part C, find the tenth term in the sequence. Well, as you know from arithmetic sequences, you just substitute ten into the nth term. So instead of n squared plus 5, we're going to do 10 squared plus 5. That's going to be 105. So the tenth term in this sequence is 105. Let's look at a slightly more complicated one. So this sequence is 1, 3, 9, 19, 33. And it says find the next term in the sequence. So it goes up by 2, goes up by 6, goes up by 10, uh, goes up by 14. Next one's going to be 18, so that means that's going to be 51. So the next term is 51. Find the nth term. So the nth term is in the format a n squared plus b n plus c. So let's find the a to begin with. The second differences are 4, 4, 4, and 4. So that means that that's equal to 2a. So it means a is equal to 2. So our nth term is going to be... 2n squared plus bn plus c. Now to find the bn, uh, bn plus c, what we're going to need to do is compare the sequence we've been given to the 2n squared sequence. So let's rub this out. Big rubber. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to write down the 2n squared sequence. So the 2n squared sequence, 2n squared is equal to, well, remember use Bob Mass, we're going to square it and then times by 2. So 1 squared, 1 times 2, 2. 2 squared, 4 times 2, 8. 9, 18, 
next one, uh, three squared, uh, four squared is 16 times 232, and the next one will be 50. Okay, so we know that the two, the n square uh, the two n squared uh, sequence is equal to two eight eighteen thirty two and fifty. Now this is a bit more complicated than the previous one. This one's not a simple case of just adding or taking away a number because it's as you notice here. Uh, first of all, the sequence uh, well the difference of one, the difference of five, and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take away our two n squared from our sequence, which let's just call it 2n squared plus bn plus c. And let's take them away from each other to see what we get. Okay, so whenever we take these away from each other, well, it's gonna give us minus one, minus five, uh, minus nine, minus uh, 13, and uh, minus 17. Now, as you notice, this is a nice arithmetic sequence, okay? It will always be a nice arithmetic sequence, okay? And if we get the nth term for this, that'll be the bn plus c part of our uh, nth term for the quadratic. Now, as it's going down by four each time, okay, the nth term with this is gonna be four n, uh, minus four n. So that would be the, you know, the as it's going down by four, it's gonna be minus four n. And to get from minus four to minus one, we're gonna add three. So the nth term for this difference between the two n squared in our sequence is minus four n plus three. Now this will go here for the bn plus c part of the uh, nth term. So it's going to be 2n squared minus 4n plus 3. And that's the nth term for our quadratic sequence. This isn't my preferred method. Uh, my preferred version is version 1. But um, lots of people don't like this approach. So you know it's really up to you. Okay. Next one. Uh, part c. Uh, which term in the sequence is equal to 73? So like with arithmetic sequences, we would put the nth term equal to the number. Well, we're going to put this nth term equal to the number. So let's write that down. So 2n squared minus 4n plus 3 equals 73. Let's solve this. So it's a quadratic, so we need it to equal 0. So let's take away 73 from both sides. So 2n squared minus 4n minus 70 equals 0. Let's half it because they're all divisible by 2. So that's going to be n squared minus 2n minus 35 equals 0. Let's factorize it. So it's going to be n minus 7n plus 5. So that means that n equals 7 or n equals minus 5. Now we can't have a minus fifth term in the sequence, so it's going to be the seventh term. So it's the seventh term in the sequence. And that's it.